Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Good morning. Los Angeles, Guangdong, Gaskif Magits. Hello, you couldn't catch the last live stream in Kauda, but we are again together in Amsterdam. We are nearby Amsterdam, Puccini Bomboni chocolate place, and this is flagship Amsterdam. You know, I had mentioned about this tour. Uh, they departure from Prinzenkracht nearby uh, Wester Toren, the Wester Church. Today I am with a friend, my Turkish bodyguard, Soner. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Hello. He looks a bit strange, but uh, yeah, he's an actor. <laughs> he's an actor. Am <laughs> I? Let's start our walking tour today. Hello, Nach. Vladimir, hello, Wang Tong, Colleen. Let me show you the canal view before Rembrandt Plain. After the buildings, there's Rembrandt Plain, and Tuchiski Theater is all, also there. On the right side, we will see Hotel Europe and Munch Tower. This is a nice spot for chilling in the evening in a good weather. The temperature is about 21 Celsius and it was a bit rainy until now. As soon as we started, rain stopped. We are lucky. Almost. Hello, Las Vegas, Marvin Engel. Don't go further, you might fall your camera. Okay, you do. <laughs> no worries, I'm here. <laughs> yes. Today we will be walking with Soner, my friend, and we will be visiting Munch Plain, Rembrandt Plain, and then we will be sitting in Snop Amsterdam, an upscale street food restaurant, uh, brand new. <laughs> I, I will stay away from Soner's uh, looking. <laughs> Hope you did not eat human flesh, Sonnari, you are cruel today. Paula Mello from Brazil, Rio. Hello. Hello, everybody. Wow, wow. <laughs> and Israel. Hello, Israel also, AD. Hello. And since we are here from Israel, I, I'm going to show you Tuchinsky Theater along uh, uh, Rembrandt Plain Road. Tuchinsky Theater was founded uh, by a Jewish, uh, Mr. Abraham and he was murdered in Auschwitz camp. Really? Yes, the that. owner of, I mean, the founder of Tuchinsk Theater. This site is still Rembrandt playing site. And I'm gonna show you the other side. Show you. This is Zaderkirk. Zaderkirk is from 17th century. Let's see if we can read the date, it's 16th. 76? Yeah. I think. 2064. Miguel Hernandez, are you walking or biking? Yes, it seems we are walking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can walk on this corner. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful spot, by the way. So now, if you don't want to pay something, you can just get your beers, and this is a beautiful spot, always empty. I will and do with that. a beautiful view. Oh, that's nice. And a silent canal. They are drinking with vodka. Anyway, uh, this, this, this is really irrelevant. Cola, vodka cola. Vodka cola. <laughs> this is the most disgusting thing <laughs> I have ever. Hello, Kopai from UK. So, what do you like in co uh, vodka with cola or with the orange? Vodka pure. Vodka pure? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I usually mix with uh, orange juice or lemon juice, but uh, I have been in Ukraine okay. and my Ukrainian friends uh, offered vodka pure and we were drinking vodka in shot. Wow. So yeah. it's like yeah. like a shot raki. <laughs> oh, okay. It's the same, same, same uh, feeling. I think hazelnut with vodka is good, but anyway. Uh, let's show this answer. <laughs> can, you, can you drink pure vodka? 
Me? Sonar, you. Yeah, yeah, of course. Pablo T, hello. From Argentina. Argentina. Argentina. Argentina. Marvin Engel, the church from 1676, 100 years before the American Declaration of Independence. Thank you for additional information. And this is Amstel River. And that bridge was Blower Bridge, I guess. I'm yeah. not sure, but probably this bridge is the Blower Bridge. Not sure. And there's a question from Miguel Hernandez. Are people allowed to bike under the influence of marijuana in Amsterdam? I guess no, no because sure. uh, I think the same rules with alcohol. You cannot buy uh, cycling. You cannot be cycling when you are drunk. So there is a fine about that. I think the marijuana is the same. There's a secret part yeah. here. <laughs> we, we hear some music from the window. They asked, I think, how is the corona situation in Netherlands? Yeah, according to the press conference yesterday evening, the most significant changes, clubs are closed again. And uh, bars and restaurants, Horeca, hotel restaurants and catering industry will be open until 12 o'clock. Before the press conference, they were opened until the morning. Yeah. And uh, as of yesterday, they are again allowed to open until 12 o'clock. It's more but, or less uh, 11,000 uh, cases per week, per day. Per, sorry. per day, yeah. yeah. As of yeah, today, 11,000. Yeah, wow. yeah, it's increasing exponentially, so they need to intervene about it. Yesterday, it was like 7,000 cases in, in all over the Netherlands. Uh, and yes, we are in the corner of Puccini Bomboni. In our previous videos, we bought some chocolates from here, Puccini chocolates. Here it is, I can show my finger. <laughs> and this is the coffee, coffee side of Puccini Bomboni. We will be walking towards Amstel Hook on that way, and then we will walk around Munt Plain, Munt Tower. Let me show you the view. So from last week to today, the most significant changes, clubs are closed again. The all other things, bars are still open, restaurants and stuff. You can see it outside or inside with some limitations. So, so there is a maximum capacity inside. So according to the size of the restaurants, uh, there are limited people allowed to sit inside. And you cannot stand up in a bar. You have to sit and there should be a social distance and museums are open large scale events are not allowed until 14 of august until the next press conference as i know and uh, Murat's friend what's your name let me show him hello this is sonar elis elis asked from hi elis Alec this is sonar. Alecmar. <laughs> Alles good. Alles good. He said. He, he speaks Dutch. He is more Dutch than <laughs> <Am> me. Am I? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> let, let me show him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. He can yeah, but, uh, speak in the Netherlands. Heel good. <laughs> you hear, Alice? Yeah, he lives more than 10 years here, right? How, how many years? <laughs> the accent is different. Why? I don't know. Yeah, be, because maybe we are Turkish, right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> But uh, he lives here more than 10 years. 10 years or 7 years? I think I'm living here for 12 years. 12 years already. And by the and, way, act uh, actorship is uh, just uh, uh, amateur stuff, not the uh, real professional actor. Yeah, we... we just take some courses, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have primary jobs, but uh, as a big hobby, he is an actor. He is acting in some cases, in some... Events, let's say events. Yeah, we are all acting and, uh, in some events. Today. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I have been here only for five years. Of obviously, he is more experienced than me about Amsterdam. This is Amstel River. You can see in distance. This is Munt Tower. Uh, I'm gonna explain about that when we arrive there. 
And this side is where we arrived to, uh, what was that? Skinny Bridge, the Skinny ah, Bridge. Mahere Bruch. Mahere. This is a Second ah, World War Rembrandt. This is uh, Rembrandt of uh, the Jewish burgers, uh, Jewish yes. uh, Jewish burgers who citizens. lived in these neighborhoods. This is a memorial for them. Hello, I am from Suriname, but I got a, a lot family in the Netherlands. Hello, Ruben. Hello, Suriname. Yes, we have also friends from Suriname who lives here. Twelve yard, nice. Nice. Reluctance, <laughs> but your accent is different than me. Am I? Yes, he's. Uh, Am I different? Everyone he, is different. Yeah, he is twenty-five percent Dutch. I am five percent Dutch. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some nice boat houses. So today's plan is, we will walk around this area. Uh, I'm gonna show you Moon Tower, Moon Plain, and Tuchinsky Theater, then Rembrandt Plain. Then we will be arriving Torbeke Plain, Torbeke Plain, and just in Torbeke Plain there is a new restaurant, Snop restaurant. It's also belong to a friend of uh, mine, and also Sonia knows him. So we will be sitting there and we will order something, street foods. There are some gourmet, gourmet style street foods, like cockroach. They have cockroach. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to try cockroach, despite I'm vegetarian. Today there will be a cheating day for me and I will try some non-vegetarian street foods. It's pretty once in a month. Arizona. Hello from Arizona. Arizona. Hello Arizona. By the way, today we were in I mean I was in Hauda, Cheer City. <laughs> if you haven't watched already add to that we add that video to your list to watch later we visit a unique church in Hauda and it's famous with its cheese but also it's the birth birthplace of strip waffle this is a nice one with a nice terrace especially in corona times you don't need to go to any restaurants and bars. Sundari Murat is happy today with his nice friends. I think all my friends are here. Thank you, Sundari. I'm also happy with you too. Yeah, we are all happy. Sundari is from Dordrecht. She, li she lives in Dordrecht, by the way. Dordrecht. Have you ever been in Dordrecht? No, I think... No, no, uh, not for really. me. Dordrecht. Hello. It's like I really like the. <laughs> I like the chester today. Thank you, nose. I really, I really like to read the stuff that your <laughs> audience yes. writes. Yes. So, yeah, I also do bike tours once a week, and during the bike tour, you know, there's a fine, 100 euro, if you use phone during your bike rides so I cannot check the messages and they talk to each other okay that's nice <laughs> what's your friend named Sundari from Dordre he's Soner this is for Sundari <laughs> hey Sundari <laughs> let's see some more Amstel River view and yeah, for C, this side, the colors are beautiful. Before sunset, we have still enough time to sunset. It's about 10 o'clock. And uh, we have at least one and a half hour before sunset. But the view is nice. This is National Opera and Ballet Building. And the Waterloo Plain local market is uh, located in the corner. Also in this area. On Saturdays. On Saturdays. And this way it goes to Rockin. Other side, let's cross the road and uh, I'm going to show you. Is it a Porsche? It's Demir maybe. <laughs> <laughs>
Beni görmüş onu. <gülüyor> Öyle mi? Tamam. Okey güzel. Bekleriz onu. <gülüyor> This is the Skinner Bridge. The Mahare Bridge. Sons intent... Sons intent that if any man in the Netherlander done the main stand in the Netherlander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, uh, he practice Dutch. He lives yeah. in US, but uh, he is practicing Dutch. He's learning more Dutch. Ne more Netherlander than the most of the Netherlander. Okay, yes. that's correct. Yes, the 1101 experiments who lives in US, but he has plans, serious plans for living in the Netherlands forever. Okay, that's kind. So, goedemiddag. This is uh, Hermitage Museum of Amsterdam. This is a branch of the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah, I've been there, by the, the way. The, yeah. I, it's a really huge yeah. museum. Yes, I, I have been there also twice. Uh, yeah. It's really nice. In St. Petersburg, I've also been there. It's a big, yeah. very important museum in Russia. Yeah. And the, this road goes to the Rembrandt Plain. Before that, uh, there is a public urinary over there. We will visit them and uh, we will show you something interesting. <laughs> no, I'm, yeah, I'm I kidding. <laughs> Turkish music. <laughs> Turkish music everywhere. <laughs> Senden sonra da ben gideceğim ama şey koyacağız. <gülüyor> Tuvalet break şeyi var onu koyacağım. Tamam. İstersen anlatayım. Hiç gördüler mi? Ha ha gösterdim okay. ben şey. Ben etrafı çekelim sen gir. Tamam. Ice barı falan göstereyim. So here we are again around ice bar. One of the most popular tourist attraction. Ice bar is over there. This is public urinary. You see, <laughs> Soner is there. Now I, I'm gonna wait for him. Wow. It's a bit cold in there. I have never been inside, to be honest, but I would like to. As soon as possible, I will visit there. Oh, the bulldog dog. Bull the bulldog boat. <laughs> Ship dog. This is a coffee shop boat. Is just passing now. The bulldog boat. It's a smoke boat, I guess. But probably it was uh, for private customers now. They're dancing. <laughs> All right. There's something in this. Some I saw see some drunk guys. Push-ups. Yeah, that's the best thing after ice bar visit. You have to make some push-ups to get warmer. <laughs> Pushkin's vodka cream lovely in an ice cup. Thank you. Juan Carlos Hudimidak. Alles good here. Kukat Khetmetie. Marvin Engel, there is also an ice bar in Las Vegas. Thank you. Wow, good info. Hudden Alfons. Mark, hello. I'll just visit the public urinary just as Sonar did. I, I, I can explain one memory over there. <laughs> okay. Really, seriously, I can. Let me show. They, yeah. Okay. You it's, see, it's not very common in the other parts of the world, this kind of urinary. Once, we just went out from the tram station and then one of the girls, uh, mothers actually, 
one of the mother came and said that okay we tried to drink some water but it doesn't work how does it work all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah they were trying to drink water from here and then they didn't know they were i think yeah i don't know the let's say the nationality of the they were tourists okay they, they were trying to drink something from here and they, oh they, they had yeah they had five years old six years old uh kids and then they were pushing this button what <laughs> seriously it's like they were pushing this button normally this one <laughs> this is a private toilet yeah we said that this is a toilet and then Open mother air. was really ha was having a heart attack oh my god oh. what are you doing and that kind of stuff oh re recently i watched a japanese video and in japan there is a glass glass window uh, toilets in the streets really so if you are inside everyone can see what happens <laughs> there's a closet inside <laughs> yeah, trans not only for pink society. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will okay if you want let me check my okay. <laughs> okay. microphone man there okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Now you did the now the Murat is urinating so that's why the voice gone because he has the microphone. Let me explain as a tour guide here. You can see that that building is over there. <laughs> Just joking around guys. Sorry. I I'm not a tour guide so Yeah. Over there you can see this is the most small building in Netherlands. Just a joke again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you survived. <laughs> no details, please. Thank you. <laughs> now we will go towards the let me let me tell you one interesting thing so we we known each other for five years and we met many times many times but every time we met uh, until after our meeting we were both drunk <laughs> <laughs> today we are not yet we are not drunk yet but I'm curious about today let's see if we will get drunk again as usual or not I'm still hook <laughs> uh, this club YOLO this is an uh, LGBT club but uh, it's closed as uh, according to the latest measures uh, after the yes, yesterday's press conference, clubs are closed again. They they opened, they stayed open only two two weeks, probably or ten days maybe. After one and a half years, yeah, uh, that's staying closed. <laughs> it's pity. Hello, all my friends from Cyprus. Hello, Colin, to you. You are not from Cyprus, but hello to you. The chats are interesting. Yeah, I really like the 
rainbow flag, there is no light gay bar. It's going to be very interesting. Donna, yes. We two of you today. And soon we will meet with other friends in Amsterdam Snob. Snob is a restaurant, but they convey street food culture to a restaurant. So you do not need to feel unsafe in a street food market. Instead, you can just visit Rembrandt Plain and visit Snob Amsterdam and you can try some unique creations. Another boat tour, Canal Tours Amsterdam. As you see, canal boats are st st still working. <laughs> they are out of <laughs> lockdown restrictions. <laughs> But they have uh, they have limitations. I mean, normally if they carry 30 people, for example, nowadays they can carry only maximum 15 people with 50% capacity. And uh, yeah, according to the papers, they have to clean everywhere after every tour. But uh, I, I'm the, yeah. I'm not sure if they do. <laughs> to be honest. Stel Stelcon, hello from Cyprus. What are they closed now? I'm coming in two days. Yeah, only nightclubs are closed. All other things are open. Oreca is open until um, 12, 12, 12 o'clock. o'clock. So you can have a seat unless you, uh, yeah, you can. One and a half meter rules. Yes, with some social distance rules. You can go, you can do everything. Anywhere. You can sit inside in a restaurant or you can visit a coffee shop. Also, you can sit in a coffee yeah. shop. Uh, with social distance, but it may uh, also it depends on the how will be the circumstances because now we are exponentially increasing uh, Corona COVID figures. Yes, so, uh, yeah. This maybe next week or two weeks later, maybe there will it will be worse. Yeah, it it it will be changed every week. Every Friday, it's possible to get another press conference, and besides. Even everywhere is open, just keep in mind that the case numbers are increasing. So just be careful. And yesterday there were 7,000 uh, cases. Today, 11,000 cases. Maybe tomorrow it will be 15,000 yeah. cases. So <laughs> then they, the government will be reviewing some other considerations, some other measures maybe. Is Nai, can I be your friend? I take minimal space, of course. <laughs> come, come with us to Snop Amsterdam in Rembrandt Plain. If you would like to join us, be our guest. This is uh, one of the streets goes to Rembrandt Plain, and there is another LGBT bar. And you know, because of the corona, uh, bars and restaurants can use additional spaces nearby the canal, like this. There were no sting areas before COVID-19. And due to the restrictions uh, inside people capacity, uh, bars and restaurants are allowed to use more spaces nearby bridges or uh, canals. This is fame. It's pretty crowded, as you see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be there <laughs> at this time. Oops, can you hold it for yeah, a minute? Here is the morality. <laughs> Fixing my shoes, shoes. as usual. <laughs> yeah, he's using professional about Professional this. walker <laughs> shoes for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is a round fart, it's a butter station all are staying staying and I, i'm gonna show you hotel the europe i re i read something about hotel the europe and i will share you my information ah this is my favorite sushi restaurant really this is yeah, sushi this is sushi if you want to. oh i yeah, didn't come. notice Really, yeah, it, it's a little bit expensive, but it has like yeah. 20 people inside maximum. But it's really good sushi. 
they're making. Okay. I think it's fresh, but uh, and of also course I'm not a sushi expert. It's located in a historic monument. Probably it's a national monument. It's from 1880. And according to the letters here, it was a fabric written mobile and mobile. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah, written, yeah, mobile. mobile and fabric in the past. So in the Netherlands, they keep those historical letters, symbols and architecture. They are all well preserved and uh, all over the buildings. So even if you buy this building or if you rent, etc., you cannot change that unique decorations without permission of the municipality or the government. Uh, I'll show you. Ah, Czech bar. It's Czech, Czech Republic bar. <laughs> we are moving closer to Munt Tower. But before that, I'm gonna show you a beautiful terrace restaurant, breakfast place, and also a unique hotel here nearby Amstel River. It was built in 1896, but before that, already it was an like a hotel inn, in place. This, this was an inn. So let me tell you about the, a bit of history about Amsterdam. So this moon tower was a protecting tower. It was the outer side of the city. So the, the city was ending there. That was the entrance of the city. There was another tower here. Instead of this building, there was another tower. It's called Rolldale or Rolldale, as I remember. In the 15th century, it was built to protect the city to the enemies. So there was a protective wall all around the city, uh, surrounding the city from this point. But after a fire in 17th or 18th century, it was all destroyed. Only some part of Moon Tower remained. Then they restored this tower again, like this in Renaissance architecture. So this is the only place and also a guard tower, guard place over there. And now we can hear the bad sounds from Moon Tower. So after 18th century, when the city was expanded, actually after 17th century, when the city was expanded and they built another canals, like uh, other canals, Prinzenkracht, Herrenkracht, and Kaiserskracht, they destroyed all the walls uh, to protect the city. And instead of uh, that tower, that guard tower, they built an inn here. And that inn uh, used for a long time after that inn also destroyed, they built this Hotel de Europe in 1896. One interesting information for you also, Soner. Mm -hmm. Alfred Hitchcock uh, made a movie in this hotel. Really? It's a foreign correspondence. Okay. Just before Second World War, he made a movie here. I mean, yeah. He, he shot the movie or wrote the movie here? Sh shot the movie, really? yes. And also there's a foreign restaurant, by the way, if you join the Amsterdam, you will see there's a... Here. This one? No, no, Mar not this one. Ah, but there's over a... there, the Café de Yaren. Café de Yaren, yes, next to the hotel. Yeah. Yes, it's a good one and reasonable prices. And this hotel nowadays, I think 111 rooms, because they bought two other buildings in that street, yeah. uh, the Doolan Street, I think. Uh, they bought two other buildings and in total they have 111 rooms and there are some event rooms also. One is named as a Munch, Munch uh, Salon or Munch Plain View something and other one Amstel and the third one Doolan View something. I cannot remember clearly. This tram comes from Central Station. So this side is rocking, Amsterdam rocking. So this is the location, Munt Plain. Plain means square, Munt square. Munt is not mint. Munt is, the translation is mint in English. But the name, uh, the source of the root of this Munt Tower is, comes from something else. Uh, yeah, when the 
when England and France declared war to the Netherlands uh, in the past, uh, it was not possible any longer to bring money from Dordrecht, where the money created was created. So instead, they created the money here, uh, next to the Moon Tower, uh, and it started to call it as Moon Tower after that. Nowadays, Next to the Moon Tower, there is Bloomer Market. Flower Market is over there, so this side. But today we will go towards left and we will see the Reculiers, Reculiers Braestrat and the Rembrandt Plain. <laughs> they are talking about the COVID in the sea. Yeah. They don't care history. <laughs> I'm sorry, to be Thank you. Teşekkürler. <laughs> Teşekkürler is thank you. It's true these old buildings were not destroyed from World War II, Marvin Engel. Yeah, Amsterdam was not affected from World War II because after Nazis bombed Rotterdam and uh, everything destroyed in Rotterdam. So Netherlands decided to uh, surrender surrendered to the Germany because Nazis threatened Netherlands to bomb Utrecht and Amsterdam so Netherlands uh, decided to surrender to Germany instead of more destroy throughout the country like Utrecht and Amsterdam that's why the all history was preserved in Utrecht and Amsterdam. Burası, this is a very important place, yes, sex shopping center. Non-stop porn films, wow, non-stop. <laughs> 24 hours you can watch until, until you die. <laughs> I think they have just only internet. <laughs> non -stop. Yes. This is Reguliers Breistrat, Bre, I think. And this is one of the most famous streets of Amsterdam. This side is Munt Tower. And this side is Rembrandt Plain. And our one of my our favorite shops, Albertheim Supermarket, is here. Albertheim. <laughs> and Burger King, Casino, everything you need in a day, they are all located here. Burger King, Casino, Albertheim. What do, you, what do you want more? <laughs> <laughs> and Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> and sex shop. Non stop porno. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> what do you expect more? At least you know a lot about Amsterdam. Uh, yeah, I study for you, at least. Thank you. Uh, I also know a lot about Alkmaar, but I will visit Alkmaar in a sunny, sunny day. I visited Alkmaar sooner two months ago and I made a live stream walking tour. Yeah. That was the worst weather throughout <laughs> the year. The whole, the whole year it was the worst worst day. Yes, let's show Tuchinsky Theatre from distance. Tuchinsky Theatre is the, the most important object on this street. This is Theater Tuchinsky and a new information for you. Also, I, I'm sure Soner didn't know this, don't know this. And uh, this theater uh, was chosen as the most beautiful cinema of the world by Time Out 2021, okay. recently. Recently it was chosen as the most beautiful cinema of the world among 50 cinemas throughout the world. And it was built in 1921. The building started, the construction started in 1919. And only in two years, they built this magnificent cinema, theater. Have you ever been here? Yeah, Anna? yeah, I, and I've been in many times. Is it true that the rats are walking around? Yeah, I have a very... Oh, wow. Because it's an old building. <laughs> to be honest, I have very uh, hard to say. Yeah, yeah you, can. you can go. We are recording ourselves. <laughs> okay. I have and a memory here that 
we went to, I think, uh, me, my wife, and uh, one of our friends went to a uh, Harry Potter movie. About Harry Potter movie in Tuchinsk Theater, yeah. how nice. <laughs> and uh, Harry Potter, while uh, it was a really boring movie, sorry guys if you have any Harry Potter fans out there, but the second or third movie, I don't know, uh, we fall asleep. We fell asleep. Oh, we fell asleep. And uh, you know my friend Sena. Yes. And then we woke up like the rat was here. <laughs> oh, he... <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, let me show you. Uh, on like on we his were shoulder. Sleeping on the, it was a boring movie and then rat was here. And oh. then he just woke up and then said, oh my God, there's a rat yeah, over here. Yeah. <laughs> so be careful if you watch a movie yeah. on the cinema there, it's, it's possible to it's rat. It's not a rat, to be honest, <laughs> it, but it is uh, mice. mice, let's say. <laughs> But uh, yeah, he really touched the mice and, you know, yeah. it was a beautiful. <laughs> it's pity. We woke, that? <laughs> we woke up. So recently it was managed by Pate, Pate Cinema. And uh, the owner was a Jewish. And uh, yeah, he was immigrating to the US. But when he stopped in Rotterdam, he decided to uh, stay in Rotterdam. So they start to make business, making business in Rotterdam on cinema industry, and he become he, he became famous in the film industry. Uh, he had already four or five cinemas before Amsterdam Tuchinsk Theater, and then he opened Amsterdam Tuchinsk Theater. At that time, in 1921, this was the most modern cinema of the mm. world with its electronic and ventilation system. With its ventilation system, I think he thought about the COVID at that time. Mm. <laughs> All the building was really well ventilated. Yeah, he became famous, but in when the Second World War started, uh, because he was Jewish, uh, he was arrested. He, he was sent to a concentration camp in province Drenthe, in the north east side of the Netherlands and after that he was sent to Auschwitz and he was executed there really? he was murdered oh. just like Anne Frank. Anne Frank Anne Frank also he was sent to Westerbork I think Westerbork uh, concentration camp in Drenthe and then she sent to she was sent to uh, Auschwitz also oh, okay. the same same Sad. and also because Nazis bombarded the Rotterdam and destroyed all the city already Abraham Mr Abraham lost his four cinemas there so four cinemas already was destroyed were destroyed so this is the story of Tuchinsky theater yeah and we just uh, skipped Febo Febo wall but we will visit Snap Amsterdam right okay. <laughs> no it's very strange you put the money and they get the hammer uh, yeah, I, yeah, I showed in ah, previous show. videos, okay, but usually I try in every video. However, today we will be already visiting mm -hmm. Snop. We will try Cockroach, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Crazy, of course. So. Long story short, Anna Frank and Abraham, Mr. Abraham, founder of Tuchinsky Theater, uh, reached to the same destination, both Auschwitz. And during the Second World War, Nazis changed the name of the theater because it was a Jewish name, Tuchinsky. It was the surname of Mr. Abraham, and they changed it to Tivoli, Tivoli Theater. Tivoli. After Second World War finished in 1945, uh, the name was restored to Tuchinsky again. And those are the most crowded bars of Rambam <laughs> playing always. <laughs> See, there's always. a COVID over there. <laughs> <laughs> no custom today, gas Kimmak, because we are soon, we are be visiting, we are going to be visiting soon Snoop Amsterdam restaurant and we will try some citrus that actually we are late for there really they said 8 30 but it's already 9 10. So <laughs> 9 10? <laughs> we should be there in five minutes i guess because they close in 11. Oh let's show a rembrandt yeah. plan briefly escape club as usual is closed but uh, it's a uh, advertisement panel is open this is rembrandt plane let's 
see your Rembrandt statue. This is Rembrandt plan statue. And surrounded with coffee shops, cafe and restaurants. All the wow, look at the light here. A nice sunset view throughout the Reculier Brace Strat. There are many streets starts with Reculier around this area. <laughs> It's not easy to pronounce <laughs> as a Turkish. <laughs> as a Turkish, it's not easy. Uh, uh, yeah, we will be done in ten minutes slowly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, some other popular popular bar, Irish pub here. Also one of my favorites. The service is nice. They are gentle. But usually their menu is the same. I mean, they provide the same menus. Coffee shop, I don't know. They maybe they have different menus. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee shop, Smoky. Smoky is very Smoky popular. Smoky is very popular by tourists. Yeah, but and Coco Outback is very popular. It's a new generation. Likes that. Which one? Coco's Outback. Yeah, that's ah, over there. The, the Austra kangaroo Australian bar. Yes. Yeah, Erasmus parties and everything. We, was, we have know. a watcher from Australia, Marta Sevi, but I'm not sure if she was she's here now. Yeah, the Nachtwacht. I, I like this name. Yeah, it's uh, a creative a one. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, <laughs> artistic no, <laughs> Nachtwacht. <laughs> and uh, it's normal because it's open until midnight. So. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nice. <laughs> I smell shisha, shisha, yeah. right? Water pot. Is, is there a football match today? Do you know? I really don't know, Europe, to be honest. Because, yeah, normal day display. But one of your followers was saying that American Cup. <coughs> sure, sure. American see. Cup uh, final or something. Latin uh, America, maybe. Uh, I don't know. This, today should be the last day of European Championship, I think. Today? Yeah, I think so, but I'm not sure. Oh God, really they, they may know that. We really don't know about <laughs> uh, Yeah, I don't have any interest on football, but I'm, I'm going to ask Demir. This way for lousy food and warm beer. What would you want more? Lousy beer and warm... Sorry, warm beer and lousy food. <laughs> not your happy heart. Group to share, group. How, how it's written, group? See? <laughs> kangaroo flay. Have you ever seen that? Really? Can yeah, they are saying kangaroo, kangaroo flay. flay. Wow, it's really That's what I was searching. It's true Australian. Wow. From the Barbie. <laughs> they actually eat kangaroo. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> how it's written, group. group I think share. the owner is Turkish, probably. <laughs> <laughs> or Arabic. <laughs> Probably the Arabic owner or Turkish owner, and they opened an Australian restaurant and they eat kangaroo. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay, we are almost at the destination, guys. Snob, I can see Snob. There are many other restaurants. There's also a Thai, Thai restaurants over there. And next to that, there's a famous coffee shop. Most of the watches, let's go around. I, I'm going to show you the statue. This is Torbeke. Oh, yeah. And hundreds of bicycles. Bicycle cemetery. Yeah, this, this coffee shop is, despite it's small, most of the people know this one. I'm not familiar with coffee shop, but which. Can you read the name? The Bosch? Bosch Doctor. Bosch Doctor. Bosch Doctor. I think it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the canal view and then we'll go back to Snop Amsterdam. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this tour so far. Look, I love Bush Doctor Paula Melo from Rio, Brazil. <laughs> wow. He knows better than us. <laughs>
and please check the description we have a discord server where you can meet uh, other people with common interest Amsterdam and the Netherlands and you can ask your questions and hit the like button if you enjoy this video so far we are almost at the destination this is Torbeke plan Torbeke is a famous figure in uh, Dutch history modern Dutch history he he is the he is the man who dra make made draft of uh, Dutch main law Anaesa. Oh, okay. And, oh, I uh, didn't know that. Yeah, he is a really important figure. He has three three statues, one in Amsterdam, one in Zwolle, the birthplace of him is Zwolle. He was a child of a poor family in Zwolle and also in Den Haag. And he, di he died in Den Haag. Okay. Uh, after 70 years old something. Now we are visiting Snop Amsterdam. It looks crowded. Yeah, <laughs> is, there, is there a place for us? We are late, so probably they said that. All right, let's see if Demir is. I think it's the, that's the empty place. Let's see. Ah, ah okay. Let's see over there. Let's show the restaurant. The beginning. This is Snop Amsterdam. It was opened this year, 2021. Uh, it's a new restaurant in the corner between Torbeke Plain and Rembrandt Plain. So it's close to Rembrandt Plain, the entertainment area. And this is Torbeke Plain. So this way goes to Museum Plain, Rijks Museum. So there are lots of restaurants uh, in these neighborhoods, but most of them serve the same type of food, except the kangaroo one. <laughs> <laughs> they, they serve Australian really kangaroo, That's, that was really interesting. Thank you so much, Sonar. <laughs> yeah, very interesting. Man. Let's uh... You have to try, you have to try. <laughs> and... Salam. <laughs> Salam. He is the owner, manager. <laughs> so we will be sitting here for a while and we will try their delicious nut kangaroo food. <laughs> That's I'm hungry and drunk. Hungry. <laughs> we drank something before we were here. Demir <laughs> Do you know why some buildings are black? There's a question. Why some buildings are black? I think it's a racist question. <laughs> Which buildings are I don't know. I've never you see that. that over there, we build it's black. And why some buildings are brown? Then? Yeah, I don't know. Or white. Or and it's also black. They couldn't find enough colors, maybe? <laughs> Actually, okay. this, this this building was uh, in renovation for too long, yeah. like too long. I mean, really too long for eight years. Uh, eight years, exactly. <laughs> eight years <laughs> renovation. So inside. Right, right, right now, this is a, a hotel, a boutique hotel, mm -hmm. and also we have snow underneath it. We opened it, uh, unfortunately, in the middle of the uh, pandemic yeah so last last uh, september so we opened uh, in the beginning of september and then we closed in the beginning of october <laughs> but how was government subsidized about this government subsidy yeah it's uh, it's not perfect but it's not the worst okay so it's uh, at least you survived by the way yeah yeah so so so they kept it uh, in a way that at least 70 80 percent mm. of the whole uh, restaurants horeca let's say survives if you were really really uh, weak then most probably you couldn't have survived with the government aid but in general i mean uh, if you're okay then uh, 80% of the salaries were paid okay. by the government. That's nice. And that there were some uh, fixed costs that were paid by the government as well, but that depends on 
the revenue you had a year ah, before. Okay, so, so if you are a new joiner, you if, yeah, exactly. will suffer from so that. So as, as us, if you were new, then uh, we didn't get any uh, fixed cost government oh. aid. That's why we needed to pay uh, our rents and uh, all the other fixed costs ourselves. There are, of course, some, some other entrepreneurs like that. Some of them failed, some of them uh, still... Yeah. Thank you. Uh, can we have beer? Yeah, two more things, one for Uh, yeah. Yes. Beer or wine? Let's make it beer first. Beer, okay. Yes. Then three okay. wine again. So, yeah, that's, that's in general. Uh, so, the building itself was in restoration for eight years. I think there were a couple of owners mm -hmm. who tried to restore it and then uh, couldn't, sold it. Again, tried, couldn't, sold it. At the end, uh, the owners of the hotel bought it, and then. Uh, but it's a beautiful place and a beautiful port. It's, it's a nice place. This street is mainly, of course, hugely touristic. Mm -hmm. So right now it's quite packed. But normally, in a normal situation, in a non-corona situation, it would be really much more packed than this. Yeah. And hopefully, if we don't get any other uh, corona-related lockdowns or you know, like variants or anything else, then I assume uh, in September it's onwards it's it's gonna be much much better. Yeah. We have Fingers some crossed. we have some watchers who will visit in September and October from Canada, for example, yeah. Harjo and Kay, and uh, some are already shocked about the. Crowds. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. exactly. It's never corona and, and also, don't forget, uh, yesterday the schools were closed. Yeah. So uh, many people in Amsterdam actually moved for holidays, yes. and uh, yeah, there aren't much tourists anyway, as you know, because still it's not really very safe, or people doesn't uh, don't feel it really safe that, that to to to, uh, to travel yet. Mm -hmm. Uh, but last Sunday we had a very interesting guest. Who? Oh. Uh, Ariana Grande was here. Ariana Grande. Yeah. So, to be honest, I I think I am a bit old, that I knew the name of course, <laughs> but uh, I didn't knew the impact. So appa really? apparently she is the second most follower uh, person in Instagram. Oh, the first really? one is yeah. The first one oh, is yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo. The second one was uh, I didn't know her. Ariana so Grande. I, didn't check it, I miss her. <laughs> yeah, so it's 250 something million followers. It was funny. I I was at home watching some TV with my wife and my daughter was upstairs. You know, like then she she, she <laughs> ran downstairs. She said, "Dad, Ariana Grande is in Netherlands." And then after two minutes, our manager sent me an uh, WhatsApp. She says Ariana Grande is in snow. Who is Ariana? <laughs> and she ordered cockroach. <laughs> no, actually, she ordered the uh, hamburgers. I think she came with her uh, husband. Okay. She ate Benji burger, and then uh, her husband ate uh, the veggie burger. Veggie burger. You know. Yes. <laughs> I tried that. I tried that one. And, uh, yeah. She liked it in Instagram. Checked in or something. No, no. She she never does that apparently because. <laughs> The, the lady is working here asked it that she said I don't do that but they had their photos taken yeah okay so we put on our, our own Instagram book uh, <laughs> like page but of course we we don't have that many followers so. <laughs> but it's it's it's funny uh, because we are closed on uh, Mondays and then when we put it on Instagram apparently uh, everybody grabbed it somewhere and then on Twitter or Instagram you can search Ariana Grande was in Netherlands and uh, it was like on some places our name was also uh, really? mentioned. Tuesday, we opened up at 12 o'clock, there were some people around. <laughs> they came in, they said, wow. where did she sit? And they, they took selfies. I on, really? They, they took selfies, <laughs> she sat inside well, actually on that table. And uh, they, yeah, they took uh, photographs. Maybe you should write. This is the place where... Uh, Ariana yeah, was Ariana here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should never give someone else like... <laughs> No, it's, it's, <laughs> no it's, it's, it's funny. Uh, uh, no, she li she also, liked yeah. the food. Yeah. And we are old, maybe. Yeah, that's why. No, that's but, okay. Yeah, but like my daughter, she was like crazy. Crazy. Yeah. And then she said, let's go, let's go. Uh, I live 15 minutes out. So, okay, let's go. We hopped into the car. And halfway uh, around here, the manager called, 
she left. She left. Yeah. <laughs> it was that's okay for me, but my daughter was a little bit heartbroken. <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. I see. But maybe she will come again, so you never know. Yeah, I think she likes, so hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. When the country is more open, there will be more, more families. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, apparently, some most of the people uh, there is like not an upscale hotel over there in Thank Waldorf Astoria. So oh, ju okay. ju just opposite of us. So Waldorf Astoria is over there, right? over there. In the corner. So I think she was okay. staying there. So uh, ah, she was actually with Ariana Grande. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she ended up lucky. Yeah, I mean, she was she was really sweet to be honest. Like we just talk like a normal person together. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so she was really down to us. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Nice. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Yeah, exactly. So, 165 people watch. Hmm? Uh, yeah, I would like to show the mirror. Oh, yes. To be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> seriously hungry, so... Uh, <laughs> You were a little bit late, I guess. Sorry. That's okay. This is the menu. So starters. Yes. Cockroach. Cockroach is the most interesting one because it's not easy to find cockroach in the Netherlands. Only a few places. Right? Yeah, it's, it's it's almost impossible. It's a Turkish street food. <laughs> almost impossible to cockroach this one. If you are familiar, familiar with the Turkish cuisine, street foods, this is the, the one of the most popular one. And it's in a restaurant. Great also mushrooms, that cockroach, the price is 13. It's in, inside of a bread, right? Yeah, you can you can just order as, as regular inside of a bread, or you can also order as uh, just plain. Yeah. And what did Ariana Grande order, they said? Benji, Benji Burger. Benji Burger. Yeah. Benji Burger. Yeah. This one. Double. Benji Burger, double one. Double. 60 gram. So she paid 15 euro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Big, big, you big. can eat like, how big. was it? What was it? Ariana Grande. This is Veggie <laughs> Burger. I tried before, but today I'm not vegetarian. I... To be honest, my, my favorite is uh, Heimlop Arde in the uh, main courses. Uh, this is a unique, unique course. It's really unique because our, our chef, uh, yeah, we have three restaurants. They are all meat restaurants. This one is more like a cafe, but uh, we have a dedicated meat restaurant as well. So our chef is, uh, in my opinion, really one of the best butchers uh, around. He's from Turkey. And uh, he knows, he knows really what he does. So we, we got the whole meat, and then he processes it uh, in house. And that hemlock arde is a part of meat that you cannot find in a butcher. So that's that's why it's really special. So you can eat here, but then then when you ask for it uh, in your own butcher, you know, your in in your hometown or uh, wherever you are from. So can we say this is the only place where they can find hemlock arde? Exactly. That's that, that's a secret part of the meat. Usually, uh, most of the butchers do not just take that part out, but it's mixed with entrecotes or uh, you know like. Uh, ribs and other parts of meat because it's a very small part of uh, the uh, the meat that, that you can get from every animal and uh, it means paradise on earth right it means paradise on earth exactly yeah. Kevin asked what did ariana grande order so, yeah, benji she ordered benji, benji burger this one and her His, uh, husband the veggie has <laughs> husband veggie yeah Husbands. Yeah, I would assume ones. the other way around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, okay, but, no. yeah. Chickpeas, aubergine, veggie burger, I tried before. This is a thumbnail, actually. Fresh fries was also nice, by the way. We are trying to make a good combination of street food and also fine dining. So yeah. you can also have uh, a nice dinner with your uh, friends, family, with your yeah. bottle of wine and uh, meat and uh, we have Homemade pasta, erişte, as you know, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You choose something for us. Me? Yes. You look more professional. 
More patient. More fat. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you very much. I think your face is thicker. What do you mean? <laughs> no, I, I really like the uh, burger that uh, you served us when we first tried here. It was the Benji or maybe the truffle? Uh, the no, no, no, Benji. Benji. Benji, was, Benji was real meat, by the way, right? Benji. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Then Benji, for sure. I really can like. I can, can I have a suggestion? Yeah, of course. By the way, Demir should uh, should choose it. Maybe we can we can order some stuff and then yeah, share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, I think so. Like I really like uh, the mushrooms. So the oyster mushrooms. Maybe we can have an oyster mushroom and then the grilled prawns to start with. You are the boss. Yeah, boss. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, I don't know. Would you like to have some spare ribs? No, I really want Benji burgers for sure. One, apart from that. One for yourself, or maybe half. We can, half, we can, yeah? we can, yeah. yeah, we can it's, do it. I half. think it's better. Okay. Mm -hmm. so. Yes, I want Ariana. So, sorry, uh, what Ariana ordered? Okay, I know Benji burger, so I'll <laughs> just get one Benji burger for you. Divide in half, so you'll have half your burgers. Yeah. And uh, yeah, maybe small. some hemlo parde. Hemlo parde. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. And uh, okay, I know, I, I know what I'm gonna do. So. We'll go for. We will try for you. For you. <laughs> Benji is a dog meat. Sunday from Dordrecht. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> we can try. <laughs> I will definitely try the Benji burger next time when I will spend. Yeah, one. Right. I'm yeah. gonna share the location in the description later. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. On the description, I will share with you later. This is the corner of Torbeke plain. You see the Torbeke statues. The Torbeke statues over there. So one of the most significant politicians in Dutch Parliament history. And, uh, on the other side. And that's the uh, it's Kaiserskrat. Uh, no, Heren. Herenkrat. Herenkrat. Yeah. Uh, Gentleman's Canal, uh, the second one after Singa. Oh, so there are some municipal officers. I know, actually, uh, because this is quite a crowded place and this is the bike path, uh, after 9 o'clock, uh, exactly, after 9 o'clock on Fridays and Saturdays, okay. they just put that uh, so that people do not bike. Sorry to interrupt, but. Yeah, no. Okay. Exactly. Can we have some. Mushrooms mm -hmm. and a spare rib to share yes. as a starter. Okay, spare rib and mushrooms. As a starter. Yes. And then uh, two Benji burgers. Two Benji burgers. I will say one. But divide in half. Yeah. And Hemlo uh, Parde. <laughs> yeah. As the main course. Thanks everyone. Hope hope you are enjoying this tour today. We walk around Rembrandt Plain, and now we will be sitting and trying some delicious foods with you. And by the way, Demir explained to us that uh, this municipality, of course, officers with red clothes, red t-shirts, red shirts, are arranging the crowd, and they are uh, managing the bike. Yeah, as, as people as people get quite drunk here, uh -huh. so they can just uh, move around and do not really care about the bikes. And in Amsterdam, the bikes don't care about anyone else. So uh, basically, it's quite a dan dangerous situation uh, biking here after nine o'clock. I saw I saw many other officers in the Wallen area, the, in the red light district area. There are many yeah. dozens of them. And someone asked. Demir, ask him if we can get a discount if we mention about the live stream, uh, stream next time we are there. Yes. So if they'll mention about Murat's live stream, you'll get your discount. <laughs> All right. You heard that. <laughs> if you mention about my live stream, you will get some discounts. And uh, God's Gift Market from Los Angeles just uh, paid $5. Tip for the waitress. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that. Thank you. God's gift maggot. <laughs> Paolo Melo from Brazil, Rio. 
Me and my wife are enjoying spending time with you guys in Amsterdam now. Thank you so much. So you can see the chance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I was watching you before you came here. I saw everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you saw our funny, funny walking in some yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All the Tuchinski and also the bars on Rembrandt Plain. And, yes, uh, we, we talk uh, about the history of Tuchinski and Rembrandt yeah. Plain. I have to be honest, I didn't know that. And I didn't oh, know that the, the Germans changed the name to Tivoli and all, oh, everything. Okay. So it was nice that I learned them as well. Yes, <laughs> uh, since I'm walking a lot and I do these live streams and I study my lesson, I researched yeah, yeah. Uh, about yeah, it's, perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. It's <laughs> perfect. I learned uh, in every city something new. For example, today I have been, I have been to Hauda. I watched that as well. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lot of things. <laughs> because I was in Hauda in, uh, in June, early June or late May, I don't remember. It was a nice day, sunny day, and uh, I was with my wife. We spent like one and a half hours in the city and half an hour in a flower shop. So uh, I was yeah, quite yeah. bored, so I was just going around. <laughs> and, it was uh, empty. Today it was crowded, a little bit crowded. I mean. Yeah, there's the, there, I, I think it was Saturday, so there must be the uh, crowd, uh, you know, like the the, uh, the market, yeah. Uh, yeah, I learned that the cheese markets is yes. on Thursdays. On no, no, that was the regular market. Oh, on the regular plane. market was yeah. there. Yes, yes. That was the regular I, market. I, I bought strip waffles. I tried. Yeah. But to be honest, the one I tried in the pipe was better, better than that. <laughs> I mean, Kada is the birthplace of strip waffle, and it was invented yeah. there. But uh, the one I tried in the pipe, it, it was, was better. better. And the, the brand name was Belgish Waffle something <laughs> from Belgium. <laughs> Maybe I tried something. Everybody thinks correct. actually the waffles comes from Belgium, right? Yeah. But, I was but the worst waffles I have eaten was in Belgium. <laughs> oh, seriously, seriously. I, I, I've eaten better waffles in, in Turkey, in UK, in Turkey, yeah, also. in Amsterdam. <laughs> uh, I, I tried one in uh, Brussels. Okay, we're back. Okay, <laughs> we're back. <laughs> a friend of mine told me uh, a sentence that really best describes Amsterdam, in yes. my opinion. I'm what, can you give us some news about Kerpi Kerpi? Does it mean that at 12 o'clock, like for example, yes, thank you for waiting for us. And uh, current measures, you can uh, stay open until 12 o'clock, right? 12 yeah. o'clock, so at 12 o'clock all Horeca must be uh, closed, restaurants, bars, uh, cafes or whatever. Clubs and discotheques are closed for good right now, yes. at least until 13th of August. And, and uh, uh, visitors can sit inside also, right? They can sit inside, they can sit outside, although many people prefer outside, of course, in summertime. Uh, most of the places have their uh, parasols, umbrellas, as... Uh, yes. Even it rains, it's, yeah. it's, it's not a problem. As the weather is volatile, we, we, we talk. And, uh, but many people sit outside. But there is a limitation about the people. I mean, the hundred. Up to so, 100. So that's that's not really a limitation as Amsterdam has small cafes and restaurants. Hardly any restaurant occupies more than 100 persons. Uh, from 13th of August on, if the numbers are okay, then they'll probably open up the clubs and discos again. But let's see that. Yes, it's true. Snob is in Torbeke Plain, yes. Yeah. Uh, Rembrandt Plain is just uh, 10 meters away from here. Exactly. Uh, we can, steps we can, away we can see it over here. Have you ever met with funny uh, guests in your restaurants or funny things that happened? Yeah, there, of course. Although I, I, I do not really stay at restaurants too long. Or what so, strangest uh, you can say? Yeah, there, uh, there are many, many uh, and <laughs> funny stories, yeah, drunk people and uh, once it was way back, I think, like 10 years ago, 9 years ago, a friend of mine brought another friend of his, we sat, we had a great time for a couple of hours, 
but I think we had a little bit of too much wine. <laughs> My friend's friend got drunk, and and he attacked me at the end. Really? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, attacked you? <laughs> no, no, seriously, uh, physically attacked me. Uh, Demir, we have a question. Uh, let me ask you from Germany, Dona Camilla. Is Snob a family business or how did he start it? Would be nice to hear a bit from him. The menu sounds great. Dona from Germany. As I said, we have three restaurants. Uh, we are a group of uh, people, actually, three who are food enthusiasts and 10 years ago one day we were thinking of yeah we, we don't have decent food here <laughs> in Amsterdam <laughs> which is Can maybe, kangaroo maybe, kangaroo maybe, kangaroo maybe a little bit of an overstatement <laughs> but maybe that was also a little bit of uh, self-motivating ourselves so we said let's open up a restaurant we did and then and the uh, first one was Ali? the first one was Koshabashi which ah, Koshabashi. you were you were not here and you yeah, were yeah, here. Yeah. I've been there. It's really beautiful. It's a restaurant. famous one, Kosha Bashi in Amsterdam. Yeah, that's uh, then. Then, then after two, three years, because the location was not really great, we closed it up, and then we moved to uh, the centrum. We opened uh, Ali, and then Mr. Meat as the real meat restaurant, and then Snob. So uh, it's not a family business, but like a friend business which started more like a hobby and uh, evolved. That reminds me, the windmills all over the Netherlands, they always have a name, Friendschap, windmill, friendship. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a volunteer-based <laughs> windmill. <laughs> and Soner, what do you think about Netherlands? Would you live 20 years more here? For 20 years, I must <laughs> take <laughs> no. because of the mortgage. Because, no, be, not because of. But uh, I have a two year and a half uh, old uh, kid, so I had. You had to wait Netherlands until graduation. <laughs> yeah, the education system of Netherlands is really cool when compared to Turkey. But after 70 years old or 75 years old or 60, if you survive, of course, I want to go back to somewhere warmer than here. But also Netherlands or Dutch people also going to Spain or somewhere. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's not, yeah, I really like Netherlands. There is even a TV show that the people who wants to move to Spain. So yeah. they like they buy a land in Spain and they create a camping area. Yeah, they, that's very common in Netherlands. A, you are like, uh, yes. yeah, <laughs> going like. And how about the expenses? What do you think? I mean, uh, living expenses in the Netherlands for rental prices. Can you give some average information about the price in the centrum? Yeah, in the like centrum, monthly price. So from the centrum, if uh, if you're just living by yourself, like a one-bedroom apartment, uh, most probably you're gonna pay something around two thousand euros in a nice location. It can it can vary between uh, sixteen hundred and twenty six hundred, yeah. depending on the location and uh, and of course the place. Uh, if you are if you are here with your family and kids, I think Centrum is not really the ideal place to live. Uh, there are many nice places on the west side, on the south side, uh, even on the north side. Right now, it's uh, more up, up and coming uh, areas. Then uh, it's gonna be maybe the same prices around 2,000 euros with your family with two three bedroom uh, apartment. A little bit higher, you may move up to a house with a small garden and. Uh... Yeah, you know I I live in Amsterdam. Uh, I live in Wesp. Wesp is part of Amsterdam since uh, 2019. It's a part of Amsterdam, but Wesp is a place mostly families choose. And uh, whoever I talk in Wesp, uh, most of them, they moved to Wesp from somewhere else, from Amsterdam, for example. And uh, when they uh, when they married, they choose to uh, live somewhere else other than Amsterdam Centrum. Because Amsterdam Centrum is like a party place. I mean, for events, entertainment is good. But yeah. For living, most Dutch families prefer uh, houses with garden, and in Amsterdam, most narrow houses, historical buildings, and yeah. you cannot 
change the decoration a lot because most of them national monuments. So and the ground, uh, the ground floors basically have gardens because it's okay. the architecture is uh, square or mm -hmm. rectangle. So every ground floor has a small garden, but yes. the rest of course doesn't. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah and uh, also prices are cheaper in yeah. uh, out of us. Instead of buying uh, 700,000 euro an apartment here, they choose to buy something in Almere, <laughs> yeah, on the, another continent <laughs> in the Netherlands. And yeah. what about you, Murat? What about me? Yeah, about, about you are always asking the difficult questions uh, to us. Yes, so you ask, want to ask me anything. <laughs> ask me anything. <laughs> And uh, yes. do you want to live in the Netherlands? Yes. Are you happy uh, or you miss your family? To be honest, or? I agree with Temir. I don't have any complaint about the weather. I love this weather. Not always sunny, sometimes rainy, sometimes uh, cloudy or grey weather. Yeah. In the winter, of course, uh, for uh, two months, uh, always a grey weather without any sun. Sometimes it's uh, a bit boring. But in general, I prefer to live here until end of my life. And uh, if I get bored, then I can visit some other countries like Spain, warmer places. But uh, for living, I think I would prefer to live in the Netherlands, but not in Amsterdam Centrum. You know, I live yeah. in Wales because I, I, I'm a fond of a person who like uh, silent places. So. Amsterdam is a place for entertainment, for partying. I can always come here to the centrum on weekends, but in the weekdays I choose to stay in silence. I mean, the, the home is a place for resting to me. Yeah. And, uh, to find myself, uh, to listen myself and uh, keep uh, energy for the weekends. For the weekends, I visit all over the Netherlands, you know. We visit everywhere. Leeuwarden, Groningen, uh, Hauda today, and Rotterdam, Breda, Zeeland, even Zeeda, Zeeland. And I lost my camera in Zeeland. I, <laughs> I was talking about that. Yeah. I, I forgot my, one of my camera in the, in the bus in Zeeland. In Zeeland, I forgot my camera in the bus. And two minutes later, I noticed that. But when I came back, there was no bus at all. <laughs> and uh, I checked the lost and found website for two months, but uh, it, it's not appeared again. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, guys, you see that we only have developed country problems like yes. weather and Those everything. Problems. So, yeah. so <laughs> it's really experiences. not a problem at all. I so, have <laughs> I have some experiences. So, I wanted to show you something uh, different. I want to show you Zealand and because of that trip I lost about 350 euro <laughs> just yeah. in five minutes. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> no problem about that. <laughs> so what about uh, do you have any Dutch friend or uh, how do you socialize with uh, in Dutch with Dutch people? Yeah, because of COVID-19 uh, it's not easy to socialize with Dutch and it's also not easy to join to Dutch friendship circle. I mean, they are always honest, they are always friendly when you speak with them and they always uh, reply with English, even if you don't speak Dutch. But uh, when we come to join to their friendship, innership, uh, more deeper friendship, uh, it's not easy. I mean, after a while they uh, continue to speak in Dutch. They come. They just switch to the Dutch after ten minutes, five minutes. <laughs> At the beginning, they were they are gentle and they, they speak English with you. <laughs> and then ten minutes, fifteen so minutes later, you speak English back. They again switch. So yeah. if, if if they feel like you understand them, yeah, they keep on going in Dutch. <laughs> but if if if if, if, if you, you can make, understand, if you can make them feel that you have no idea what they are talking about. They'll switch back. And yeah. also, I think the most important thing is they, uh, I think, West, West uh, Europeans mainly socialize with uh, clubs or something, not the nightclubs, but for example, like salsa club or volleyball club or yeah. with the hobbies. I mean, it's important to have yes. hobbies in West Europe so you can <laughs> yes. have some friends and 
Yeah, I heard that all the people met in some social organizations like football match or gym club, mm -hmm. etc. I mean, uh, in Turkey, you can meet anyone in the local market or uh, in a shop, in a cafeteria, something. It's not really possible here. I mean, it's not a tradition, it's not a culture. Mm -hmm. But still, I have some Dutch friends, of course, in West, I have the place where I live, I have many friends, but I cannot say that they are really friends. They are someone familiar to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I when I need them, I can only drink with them. But when I need really something serious, I cannot call anyone in WASP. I can call my Turkish friends. Yeah. <laughs> so I have only one Dutch friend uh, whom I can call anytime. Mm -hmm. He's Roy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know Roy. Yeah. We we visited our car market last weekend. He is one of my best friends, also he is Dutch, but he is a different Dutch, different type of Dutch. He is like Turkish, but he is Dutch. Murat Kanvel Embeçe, Netherlands. Mark, yeah, yeah, I can Embeçe, Netherlands spreken, maar niet... Echt wel. Niet echt wel, ja. Ik ben liever Engels spreken, meestal. That's that's that's the first sentence people you learn. Ein klein yeah. Okay. And also, I like the. Where are you from? Turkey. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> no, the, the, the, actually, the most funny thing is when you speak Turkish with your friends. In, a train, for example, people just or or at a restaurant, they they just come by and say, "Sorry, can I ask a question?" Yes. What language are you yeah, speaking? Yeah, it happened to me also. Yeah. So you say five times or something. You say Turkish. They say, "No, that's not Turkish." Yeah. Because they they they, they used to hear a different accent. Yeah. Say, no, no, this is Turkish. <laughs> Does yeah. Snoop has a job vacancy for a half Portuguese? Uh, yeah, this is our member from Rio, Brazil. He okay. asked, does Snoop as a job vacancy for half Portuguese, half Brazilian guy? <laughs> <laughs> if you have a Portuguese passport, yes. <laughs> if you have a Portuguese passport, yes. And some people uh, does not, they cannot believe that it's evening and it's live because the sky is yeah. still clear, clear yeah, what time this is? time. It's ten o'clock. It's, it's ten o'clock, and also it's it's and it, yeah it's slightly cloudy. Yeah, that's why yeah. it should be a little bit more light. And, uh, yeah, it's it gets dark yeah. until twelve o'clock. Eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. Yeah. It's a little bit that's what I like actually. So yeah. you you you really feel energetic yeah. during the summertime. Of course, <laughs> the other way around. <laughs> Das Beef Maggot, I thought I was your best friend, Matt. Yes, you are a different type one. <laughs> you are not Dutch. You are my best friend in uh, Las Vegas or Los Angeles, <laughs> California. <laughs> By the way, you were talking about the football games, and tomorrow is the final game. Oh, okay. Uh, Tonight. We are ignorant about that. Yeah, we, we exactly. really ignorant. <laughs> and I heard Demir would know that, so yeah. let me explain. <laughs> yes. Tomorrow it's going to be Italy against England. Demir is an expert on football. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Who and, will uh, win? England or Italy? Hopefully Italy. Why hopefully? <laughs> I, I, I, I've just seen a Twitter uh, account, you know, like it was like the whole European map. And uh, it was stated that who supports who? Hmm. Except for England. Nobody supports England. Nobody supports England. <laughs> so it's the whole Europe plus Scotland, yeah. Wales and Ireland. Uh, it's all Italian. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's like... Because I, probably they really suffer nice. So people yeah. want to see them suffer. <laughs> you know, <it's laughs> maybe, yes. Maybe. And tonight, actually, it's uh, Brazil against Argentina. So yeah, the, yeah, so, they, so, they were saying that. Yeah, so that's, that's also really nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, our time, 2 o'clock, so after midnight, I'll be watching it. It's going to be a great game as well. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the, the last match of the Netherlands, 
I was in Oranje Strat. <laughs> <laughs> Oranje Strat, everywhere was full of Dutch flags and lots of decorations. Even the king visited there. And uh, at that day, it was uh, heavy rain. I mean, it's a full rain and we lost the match. <laughs> There was a big silence, silence on the street, <laughs> so I just left the place <laughs> without taking the Dutch football is really good. I mean, I, I know of their system from the, the, the, the ground to up, but except for uh, you know like the Cruyff era. And uh, yeah, Van Basten, Gullit, and uh, Raykart, you know, like the 1988, I guess, that era. Netherlands is always having their hopes up and then, yeah. unfortunately, going down. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, there, there are two teams that I've seen uh, what, like, like, like losing the finals that much. One is Netherlands, the other one is Fenerbahce. So. <laughs> and, yeah, and to be honest, I, I'm also a traitor about the uh, Netherlands because I have a neighbor that he was really exaggerating the happiness and joy when Netherlands win. So when my child is sleeping, he was like, yeah, and then he was waking up. So when Netherlands lose, I say, okay, yeah, I'm a traitor. And after that, <laughs> match, really after that match, I saw many TikTok videos that most of the Dutch people destroyed that flags, that decorations, <laughs> just after the match. <laughs> These support they were, fanatism they were so, so funny. <laughs> no, but the, the, the system, Dutch football system is perfect. Yeah, I, I, I really agree. love that. Yeah, uh, in every village there is uh, football. Uh, I think sports culture is clubs. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah perfect. Bicycles, not, not good, it's, yeah. it's perfect. perfect yeah. For the kids, for example, you were asking, like, for the families, with the kids, I think uh, it's it's really the, the best place. Oh uh, yes. And grilled oyster. And can we ask your name also? Um, you have Rabisha. My name is Rabisha. Rabisha, thank you. Can we have two plates? Uh, extra plates. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. I was quite busy. I'm really sorry for the late. <laughs> yeah. So what was this in the menu? That's the spare ribs, right. and this is the oyster mushrooms. So these, these I consider as the starters. So we'll start with that and then move on to uh, the serious stuff. Serious stuff. Serious stuff. Yeah, well, I mean hamburger is hamburger. So okay, okay, that's that's okay. <laughs> but Heimlopard, I think, is really something from heaven. And beers are getting serious. Serious. <laughs> Afrika. Yeah, this is African blonde. African blonde. And this was Heineken. We are moving up now. <laughs> Level up. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Uh, maybe show all of us with Prost. Yeah. Prost. Everyone. Başlayın şöyle küçük küçük. Çok kom yiyelim. Let me show you closer. Sabitlerim. Çok güzel. This is also mushroom. So so marinated and uh, marinated mushroom, right? Mushroom. Or? Marinated oyster mushroom. Yeah. Oyster mushroom. Yeah. Wow. It really feels like meat, by the way. Looks beautiful. Wow. Demir or mushroom is this? Ma mushroom looks good. <laughs> All right. And it's going <laughs> non vegetarian, vegetarian stage. Let's see how you digest wow. this. Wow. Mm. <laughs> and after one right. month, vegeta vegetarian diet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Today, today you can. Uh, let's see the. Yeah. Thank hot, you. So That's okay. Be the plates are pretty hot. Thank you. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Just take one piece. Let's see.
Ya bu aslında sınırsız internet de 8 GB geçince bandwidth'te şey yapman Açalım gerekiyor. Abi. Update etmen gerekiyor. Yok ha. update edip şey yapabiliyorum da. Bunu fark edip update etmen gerekiyor arada. Çünkü soğutma banyo yanmaz. Evet. Hepsi. Okey. O zaman şöyle yapalım. Bunu sabitleyeyim buraya ben. <gülüyor> şöyle bir sabitleyeyim. Sen gene sorular sor sonra eve. <gülüyor> Ver ben sorayım Derken abi anlayayım. istersen ya. Sıkıntı yok. Thanks everyone. Okay. Now we can continue. <gülüyor> o su full senin abi. Olduğu gibi al yoksa şey olacak. Bak herkes aldı kendini. Aman Allah'ım. Wow. So guys how are your life in covid times? <gülüyor> You're from different countries, so... Um, you like it? <laughs> After two years. After two years? I mean, for spirit. Ah, okay. For spirit. <laughs> It's just amazing. Oh. It's heaven in Torbeke Plain. Heaven. Let me show you closer. Mashallah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, Prost. And be careful with mushroom in Amsterdam. Is that? That's a good one. Yes, yes, it's true. Halke, teşekkürler. Edis, I love mushrooms. Turkish guys eat spiders with pork. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We're gonna burn in hell. We are different type of Turkish people. <laughs> oh, burn in hell. And let's see if there is any questions. If you wish, you can ask. If you wish, you can ask your questions about living in the Netherlands or Amsterdam, since I have two friends uh, who stays longer than me here. I believe they can help you in your questions. Do you guys think the coffee shops will close again soon? What do you think, Soner? Coffee shops will be closed soon, according wow. to the recent news. Do they? I, I, no, no, I mean, for if the cases continue to increase. Yeah, it's just a pick and go, I guess, because I see always coffee shops were open. And then they just pick the uh, stuff and then go, they go home and then smoke there. So instead of smoking on coffee shops, you can just pick up yes, services take still, takeaway is still going on. I think so, takeaway service will not be closed. Yeah. Even they make uh, restrictions stricter, then uh, there should still takeaway will be possible. Yeah. I can't remember any time that coffee shops were closed completely, right? Me neither. So anytime I really don't know. they were open and for takeaway. You can take away, yeah. Because I know I saw uh, huge lines in front of the coffee shops. Yes, until six. Yeah. yeah. They were uh, allowed to open until six o'clock in the evening. So there were there was always a queue at uh, around five o'clock. Drunk, drunk, Dutch people <laughs> around the bridge. So Demir told us those officers are preventing bike traffic, also drunk people and crowds. Yeah, yes. main, main, mainly the bike traffic. So mainly. because they cannot really control the drunk, <laughs> as they're drunk, <laughs> they're, they're pretty uncontrollable. <laughs> so they are trying to uh, stop the bike traffic here to Rembrandt Plain. Maybe you can show uh, the wall and uh, to, to prevent the accidents and the... Uh, okay. Ne anlatıyorsun abi? Çok iyi ya. Yemeğini yolu. Bak, tutayım How is the food? How is the food? Sen ye abi. How is the food? For me, it's... Food was it's... perfect. Wow. For me. And 
yeah, most of the time I have a vegetarian diet, so it's even more beautiful to me. <laughs> After weeks of vegetarian eating, it's unbelievable. I have a question regarding, why did you pick the Netherlands to live in? What do you like, it, what do you like most about it? Yeah, for me, it's more convenient for my lifestyle because even in Amsterdam, I used to ride my bicycle in the streets, you know, minibus. <laughs> in minibus street, in the heavy traffic, I used to ride my bicycle between the cars. There was there is no bike lane in, uh, in Istanbul. Only 20 kilometers bike lane in Istanbul and it's only located in a, a particular area, in Jatabosan, in Kadipir area. area. All other the place you have to ride your bike uh, between the cars and the other vehicles. But for ten years, more than ten years, I ride my I rode my bike in the traffic. But when I arrived to Amsterdam, I was already ready, already able to ride anywhere. I mean, it's pretty comfortable after Istanbul. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, people are respectful to each other. They don't care what you think. Can you, can you show them? <laughs> oh yeah, we have lots of here. Like, oh. <laughs> oh. Bachelor party? Seats? Yeah. Uh, party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, <po> <laughs> they, they... They dropped the pennies. They dropped the, the pennies. most important thing. <laughs> We forgot the cockroach, so I also ordered the cockroach. <laughs> you were Maybe after the penis, it's not the best. Uh... <laughs> it was funny, yeah? Oh, I ordered the cockroach. When you see meat, you should order meat. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a when I bit... saw the penis. Uh... <laughs> okay, yeah. So why as, a, as, you... a, as, a, as a semi vegetarian, what do you think? Yeah, they say that. Didn't you say you were vegan? <laughs> I, I cannot talk at all. You said that you were vegan and your audience is asking why you are lied to us. Uh, it's a cheat day, you know. <laughs> yeah, cheat day, yeah. It's a yeah. social, social meat eater, you know, let's say. I have many vegan friends and mm -hmm. I have never met any vegan that they cannot break the rules. They always eat meat uh, once a month or twice a month. No. It's not possible to continue to be vegan for a year. Always you should, I mean, even you try that, even you don't eat meat, if you buy something from the supermarket, there is always some milk or something, some ingredients related to egg. Being hardcore vegan, I respect everything, but being hardcore vegan is quite difficult. Yeah, only if you produce your veg vegetables in your garden and yeah. you eat only vegetables, then you can become a fully vegan. Vegan. Otherwise, if you buy something from supermarket, it's, it's not really uh, being vegan. <laughs> okay. So I will continue my spread. <laughs> <laughs> I will continue. <laughs> after, after the short explanation, <laughs> let, let me finish my experience. After <laughs> <laughs> you are eating dead animal, come on! <laughs> Anyway, better than eating kangaroo meat, yeah? Kangaroo <laughs> So, Demir, why did you choose Netherlands, they ask? As I said, it's, it's, it's a nice country, it's... Uh, that what I was telling, actually, a friend of mine told me uh, once a very nice explanation. In most of the countries, in US, in UK, in Turkey, you know, like, maybe even in Germany or France, you know those uh, rolling doors when you are getting into a building? Mm -hmm. So, uh, how, how do you call them? It's revolving doors? Yeah. Yeah. They move fast, huh? Mm -hmm. So you need, you need to move fast. Okay. In Holland, you can read a book <laughs> before getting in. So they, they are slow. Yeah. So Dutch people take it slow. They, they, they, they want to enjoy and they, uh, they're not in a hurry. They don't want to get, you know, like, uh, okay, let's do this, let's, quick, quick, quick. They don't like that, so yeah. they, they don't like quick. Yeah, time, time is going slow. Exactly, so they take their time, they enjoy their moment, 
and uh, they also teach that to the kids. So uh, the education system is not really uh, like they, they are not training race horses. They are training, not training, but they are creating happy kids. Therefore, at the end, happy people. I think the Netherlands is the most, has the most uh, happiest kid in the world. Yeah, due it's to the, the first, second, third, you know, like yeah, always, always, always in the top, top five, three. Yeah, yeah, or top yes. three. So that's why I mean, if you if you are you are living once, so it's not the best to live quick, but to live uh, quality. So they they both start with Q, but I think quality is better than quick. One interesting subject about that recently a new. Um, entrepreneur project is getter getter.com or gorillas yeah. yeah they promise to deliver in minutes something so they ten order in 10 minutes they yeah. order something from supermarket or yeah restaurant. it doesn't matter yeah. it, it will bring the uh, whatever you want things uh, I mean, from shops yeah. yeah from shops whatever you want they deliver in 10 minutes uh, they sure, promise groceries and uh, groceries yeah. so it's exactly turkish style in in dutch lifestyle there is no 10 minutes they make an appointment for eight weeks six yeah. weeks <laughs> yeah. in the 10 minutes delivery is like changing the lifestyle in the so. uh, netherlands yeah, so Liberal and get to, uh, yeah. they are both yeah, yeah. it's up, like converting dutch lifestyle to turkish lifestyle it's a little bit like that because in turkey everything is fast everything yeah. and the shops are open until nine o'clock no <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so precious so I don't want to waste. yeah most of the people who live in Turkey and they don't have time to go to the gym because they work until nine o'clock ten o'clock and uh, everything is fast and uh, you don't have time to wait in a queue. Even if you wait in a queue, you start to make complain, or you have to find a way to go further with some tricks. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but in the Netherlands, you just wait. Even there are hundred persons in front of you, you just wait with that passion. The new company promised 10 minutes delivery. It's a bit yeah. worrying to me. For the questions that, um, for me, I just, uh, yeah, why Netherlands? Because I, just, I got a job offer from Netherlands. That's the only reason that <laughs> I live in Netherlands. It's pretty and simple. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I live for the weather. Weather. <laughs> <laughs> I, I follow the rain. <laughs> follow the rain and wind. <laughs> Fun, fun myself. <laughs> no, but you like biking, so uh, probably Netherlands is the best place for biking. Yeah, the, the funny story in Wales, in, in a bar, Tutters and Bellen, my favorite bar. Uh, one of the girls I asked, I mean, we were talking about the Turkish uh, work style, and I told her uh, Turkish people work until 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the evening, and she asked, and then how do they make sports? And when do they go to the gym? And uh, no gym there. <laughs> they just can't go. <laughs> it's not a problem in there. It's it's first part country problem. <laughs> they don't need support. Sport. Our sport is the stress. Yes, definitely. Any questions? Any question? Thumbs up for this man video, Mark. Thank you, Alvaro. Didn't you say you were vegan yeah, until today? <laughs> today I broke my promise. <laughs> How is the food? Whoa, that was perfect. Fantastic. Perfect. Yeah, maybe. My judgment would be exaggerated because I I was in a vegetarian diet, no, but no, no, no. Sonat really is a meat guy. <laughs> meat guy. <laughs> Thank you. And to say hello to vegetarians <laughs> over the world. His opinion on this matter is more serious. <laughs> no, it's really, really beautiful. Uh, that the spare ribs. And... Guys, you should try. When you come to here, yeah, it's just not for advertisement or something <laughs> okay i really like that it's it's getting dark and the sky looks 
still clear on the video, but it's not really is. Yeah, it's still okay. It's still okay. Yeah. And, uh, until which time the place is open? Uh, yeah, 11 it's, it's officially 12, but usually around 11, 11, 13 we close up. But it, if there are people, the uh, customer stays. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we, we, we have our permit until three o'clock. Three o'clock. So, really? Yeah. So maybe so maybe in the winter time, once everything is settled, we may be thinking of uh, having a DJ inside and. Uh, DJ. Yeah, but that's that's that's for uh, November onwards. Okay. So small cockroach. <laughs> wow. This is oh, sorry. No Would you like some new <laughs> This is cockroach, a unique and popular Turkish street food, which you cannot find in any country except Germany and Netherlands, probably. And in Netherlands, also in a very few places, not more than three or four. Months, right? See how yeah. you can do it. It's like let me show you inside. <laughs> It's intestine of intestine. <laughs> lamp. In, in, lamp. It's intestine of lamp. It doesn't sound nice, but it's it's a serious citrus food, guys. Yeah. Yeah. See, like this. Uh, oh, it's a Nusret style. Nusret in Amsterdam. Okay, let me show you how you <laughs> destroy it. <laughs> in a gentle way. <laughs> okay. This is a unique Turkish street food. If you visit Turkey or the Netherlands, in Netherlands, I believe you can find this only in a free place. This is one of them, Sinop Amsterdam, and in Turkey in many places. In every corner you can find it. It's a night food, night street food. You know, in Amsterdam nightlife, we uh, always end in a febo or <laughs> or a donor place. But uh, here, there is another option for you, cockroach and other things on the menu. Getting hungry now, someone. Is <laughs> Mark, yeah. let me put some herbs. I'll, I'll <laughs> uh, put some herbs and also just a little bit of the. Uh, I come to that. Pickled, pickled onion as well. I think it, it really yes, it's completes it. Good. That's nice. The uh, spices uh, come separately. Yeah. It's up to you if you put it or not. Vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Not today. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not today, vegetarian. Mm. It's good, nice. Did you like it, Mark? Well, the last time I tried in January in Istanbul, I tried cockroach. That was the only meat product I tried in Istanbul at yeah. that time. But this is almost the same, like Istanbul. And Istanbul. There are also different styles, but this is nice. They put spice separately because when you order in Istanbul, uh, they make the food themselves. I mean, they don't ask you if you want spice or not. They just put everything together. They mix everything together and they just serve you in their way. This place is sponsored by <laughs> dinner and the meat. By the way, we have also a question regarding what kind of beer is this called Aflingem? It's so, a blonde beer. Yeah, it's a blonde beer. You can check it from internet. Aflingem. What's, what's, what's for main course? What's for? Main course. We'll have the hamburgers as you asked for uh, Ariana Grande's hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> A quarter of baguette puff, they can do better. <laughs> no, actually, we were here to sh we are we were here to this share. Is, this is one, this, is this, one this one was one just portion. one portion. So we since we eat a lot, so we just decided to 
uh, divided to three. That's why. So normally, if you order a um, cockroach, you will be get um, yeah this one the, uh, multiply by three. <laughs> you should have just filmed that. So they were actually uh, going with the bike, and okay. so riding bicycle on the street yeah. at this time is not allowed. It's forbidden. So uh, they have been warned. So they turned around <laughs> and took another route. Oh. Because right now, as you see, many people are walking on the bike route. They just want to ride bicycle. bicycle. Yes, three of us. Consume one person. Perfect, thank you. Can I just have four minutes? Okay, I will switch off the microphone. Yeah, okay. <laughs> microphone is off. All right. Yeah. It's better to listen all of us. It's better. So it's records everywhere. I will definitely go to Snap next time in Amsterdam. Isna, Isna, where, where were you living? I cannot remember. Where is your country? African Blonde is one of my first, by the way. And uh, it's really nice. I, yes. I love it. I live in France. Is now from France. Hello, David Hutchinson from Maryland. You are late to the party today. Welcome. <laughs> It's a Belgian beer. Yeah, thank you very much. I think it's a Belgian. It's beer. Belgian beer, yeah. But uh, it's also one of the Heineken brands. Shall I take this out? Oh, okay. It's a Belgian brand, but Heineken uh, umbrella. So, oh, okay. Mm. I think I think Heineken owns most of the beers in Netherlands. <laughs> it's the second biggest. Yeah. So, no, I mean second biggest in the world. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> because they also have Upler is from Heineken or no? No, Upler is Belgium, I guess. Right like, here. Yeah. There's some. This time, connection cut off. I didn't see it. Hello. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. İyiymiş böyle ya. 150 kişiyle yatırıyor hiç. What is for desserts? <gülüyor> What's ah, dessert? I saw I saw something traditional Istanbul. What was that? There's one traditional dessert, katmer. Katmer. I which saw is, katmer. Which is, which is like <gülüyor> Nothing to say. <gülüyor> And also we have a very nice cheesecake. It's probably the best cheesecake you can get in Amsterdam. Uh, do you know Voltkan? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is Ari Ariana oh, Burger. Oh, yeah. No, yes. not yet. <laughs> not this one. <laughs> is this Hamel of This is Hamel of Arden. This is your cutlery? Or just right. yeah. I'm sorry. Thank you. So, uh, One more burger and also again uh, one more burger yeah. and three uh, plates, please. Three plates, okay. Yeah. And did you order also Ariana burger or this is Ariana burger? Maybe, maybe you should change the name of the burger. Yeah, <laughs> Ariana burger. So that's for you. <laughs> All right. You'll have one more, so I'll also be right back. <laughs> this is the burger Ariana chose. And, uh, this is Hamelov Arde. This is the unique. Only one in the Netherlands. It's a unique part of. Mm, It's color. really tender and uh, juicy. It's the best part of the menu. And another area. <laughs> Thank you.
here. Okay. So this one, as this is a thin slice of meat, you should eat quick. Yeah. Oh, so it otherwise it's gonna get cold and uh, it will lose its Let's flavor. Take one. Oh, cookie. Uh, hmm? wow. Cookie. Uh, Let me try. <laughs> no. <laughs> Getting dark now. Dark night rises. Is it clear? Yes. I think it's clear <laughs> that you're eating meat. <laughs> <laughs> This is the unique part of the menu. Hemel of Arde. Hemel, heaven in English. Hemel of Arde is, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's heaven on earth. Yeah, this, this item is called heaven on earth. You will feel like that. What do you think of the Dutch foods? What is in Dutch cuisine? Other than bitter bolon and some snacks? Is there a famous <laughs> Dutch uh, main course? I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know any main course in Dutch oh, menu. Fries, Fri fries, bitter bolen, frikandel, horse meat. <laughs> Poffertjes. Poffertjes, yes. Always snacks. Snacks. No, I can't remember any main course, to be honest. I don't know, but I think Dutch people are doing the best because, uh, I mean, they are living like more than 100 years, so probably they don't take care of uh, <laughs> dinner or meat or eating too much, so... The corn looks delicious. Yeah, it, that's it really that. is. I tried that before. Definitely it is. With that sauce. Wow. Abi ben bundan alacağım. Ye Murat bunlar senin bak soğursa hiçbir şey yemem. Hadi canım. Fazlaymış o biraz. <gülüyor> Birini sen al ya. Fazla bana. Ben Abi bir tane yiyeyim. Al bak altına bir tane kalıyor. Şunu alayım sadece ben. Valla. Şunu sen. al, şunu da al. Onu da al. O da senin. Ver onu. <laughs> I'm recharged. <today. laughs> so now another so month of another month of uh, I can say like six months more vegetarian. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Birini alın abi. Böyle Şöyle yapalım. Tamam. Heh, öyle yapalım daha iyi evet. Bunu da görüşebiliriz. Tamam. Emel on earth. Hmm. And it's slowly getting dark. <gülüyor> What is it about darkness? I mean... I'm most of the people surprised about the. They are making photosynthesis or something. <laughs> Where is this? Well, well, it's in general, time. like yeah. almost 11 o'clock, and it's still. Yeah. yeah. It's a not, bit strange not for not the bright, people but who. It's almost Parliament blue yeah. and uh, cinema club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Abi, şu Abi, çok iyi. This is Ariana Burger. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, by the way, one of our watcher, Anaria, who lives in Amsterdam, she always asks Turkish bakery, a good Turkish bakery in Amsterdam. Do you have any recommendation Turkish bakery in Amsterdam? To buy what? <laughs> Uh, what kind of? Uh, Turkish bakery, simit, pocha, something. 
A good one, not Simit Sarayi, I mean. Şimdi... Değirmen de isim geliyor. They should... Should they visit Boss and Lomer or... Yeah, Boss and Lomer is the place. Yeah, only that neighbor. Yeah, I don't know also any, anything else other than Boss and Lomer or... Uh, Ozdorp maybe. İş yerine kim etiyordu ya? Kara fırın. Değil mi? Kara fırın değil mi? Olursam ee, şuradan söyleyeceğim ama... Bu ne o da seninle galiba. Bereket. Bereket? Ee, hangi bölgede? Ee, Bosan Lomer'da. Ha. Pardon şeyde. Anatolia'nın hemen orada. Bereket is a bakery Close in Bosan Lomer. Bosan Lomer neighborhood in Amsterdam, New West. Yeah, New West. Yeah. This is the corn with sauce. Looks perfect. Dollar. Hmm. Nasıl yapıyor bilmiyorum. Double söylemiştim, single gelmiş. Bence double daha güzel. Çünkü single da çok ekmek tadı geliyor. Abi bence çok Double da full et alıyor. This is the burger. Ya bence içindeki Which sosu Ariana ne yapıyor bilmiyorum ama çok güzel yapıyor yani. Eight. Look at this. Ve buradan önce ben hiç Mısır'da servis edilen görmemiştim. Çok güzel yapıyor. Mısır çok güzel ya. Şurada ben yiyorum. Ne var Alright. <laughs> Let's finish our video here. So we can eat more meat. I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. I will share the location of this restaurant in the description after the video. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. tomorrow there, there is another live stream tour tomorrow after 4 o'clock. And see you another time. Okay, everyone. See you. Bye. Bye. Nice evening and nice day, all of you. See you. Uh, you're welcome, Gasket Mayit. So message you can catch. Elis, thank you. Alvaro, bye. By the way, tomorrow we will be visiting Los in Amsterdam. We will buy some interesting green tea. <laughs> from a <laughs> coffee shop <laughs> we will buy a green tea and we will be visiting Los in Amsterdam which I already took permission to record inside and we will order shisha water pipe with green tea <laughs> and uh, yeah we will be trying water pipe with green tea see you tomorrow <laughs> after four o'clock and half time bye